749 days. That's how long the State Capture Commission of Inquiry has been hearing oral testimony of an array of witnesses. Can you believe it? It's been that long. I bet you don't even remember this guy, the Commission's first witness, Willy Ndleleni Matebula. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear that the evidence you shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? So help me God. Thank you. So back then there was a distinct sense of having left shore and finally setting sail towards destination truth in as far as this multi-headed monster called state capture is concerned. At last we thought Justice Zondo's double-edged sword was to separate bone from cartilage. Well, since then, I think it's fair to say that as the commission has ebbed and flowed, we've had a temper of our expectations. We've had to temper, rather, uh, our expectations a bit. We've had moments when we were collectively gripped, riveted, and aghast at the lifting of the veil on shady dealings we had no inkling of before that. The use of cash was from the safe, was used predominantly for illegal activities. In short, bribes, as you've described it. Correct. The use of the grey security bags was used to pack the cash in that was used for bribes. Uh, and paid both internally and in externally, external in to the company. Internally and externally. You've also mentioned the word bonus uh, yesterday and today. Yes. Now, if someone was to come along and testify that uh, your evidence is entirely fabricated and yes. that all this cash was packed in grey security bags and given as bonuses as part of employees' terms and conditions of employment, what would your response be? Why not just put it on our payroll? So we've been regaled with conspiracies and dagger and cloak plots as the commission at times became a political stage. There were three uh, <clears throat> intelligence organizations that met, had a meeting to discuss me. and had the plan to begin in 1990 a process of character assassination of Zuma. <clears throat> two of these organizations came from two different big countries and one of them came from inside South Africa under which was one of the <clears throat> structures under apartheid. We've also learned that keeping up with the Mokonyanes or the Mandashes, the Gigabas and the Smiths, as in Vincent Smith, is not really a good idea if you are an ordinary South African, hardworking, trying to live from hand to mouth, while trusting the leaders you've elected to work in your best interest. You just never know what Aston Martin engine horsepower their wallets are on. So you're saying the two million was paid by someone else? It was not paid by someone else. It was a contribution that was done precisely because at that time, Serge was going to get this contract from, what do you call it, from ESCOM. And um, there was a dispute and he was actually taking them to court. And there was that arrangement of saying, when this contract is coming through, we all are go they were all going to be party. Actually, there are three. One of them has passed on, and the other two, and, and actually two now have passed on, my husband and the other partner, as well as uh, the other person who's still alive. Who paid the two million? It is... I'm, I'm sorry, before that, what was the price of the car at the time? It was three. It was three million? Yes. Okay, all right. Continue, Mr. Notcher. We paid the two million two hundred. 
It was our family friend, Taba. Okay, I didn't get the name. It was our family friend, Taba. Sure, he has the same name. Oh, it, it was Taba Mufamadi. So it was a loan. I want to It was a loan to your husband. It was a business arrangement. And we've certainly had endless frustrations as well. Digging for the truth can at times feel like our world-renowned deepest gold mines. You eke out a ton of ore for an ounce of the yellow metal. Well, I believe in my partner, Jules. Mm -hmm. If Jules says, of course, he must pray the, press the button, mm -hmm. and he's the one actually who's bringing the business, mm -hmm. and he's also investing. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask anything. And if come I... on, Mr. Nseko. Come, Chair is the come truth. on, come on, come on. This is your daughter. Yes. You are, you were there when JM was started. Started, yes. I'm the one actually invited. You, you are the, and you tell me that Mr. S wouldn't tell you about this money, your daughter wouldn't tell you about this money, they would all be paying these monies out without you knowing. You know, you know Chair, let's just come. Uh, maybe my daughter told me. Maybe Jules told me. But it can't remember. be, Mr. Nzeg, it can't be that all the time you are going to say maybe this, maybe that. You know something. Tell me what you know. Sure. What I know, I don't remember. That's the bottom line. And even the most patient among us have at times reached the end of their very long tethers, as you just saw them. As some appeared to see themselves as more, than, as more equal than others. Witnesses like Minister Pravin Gordon, amongst others, not showing up for scheduled hearings, have been particularly frustrating. It may be that our solution is just to make sure that uh, summonses are issued against anyone who must appear before the Commission because there are just uh, too, too many instances where people say they can't appear before the commission on a particular day. But having peeled off several layers, uh, are we any closer to the core of this state capture onion? Are we closer to justice for the heinous economic crimes against the people of South Africa? Are we closing in on the king, kingpins of this grand scale, multi-pronged looting scheme? For example, when last did you hear anything about uh, processes to get the Gupta brothers back in the country? Is there any formal legal process to speak of that has been lodged with the United Arab Emirates if they are still there uh, in that country or India, if that's where they are, to try and facilitate their return? The commission has cost upwards of 700 million rand thus far and will likely cross the billion rand threshold. Yet for all that money, at times it battles with elementary things like proper page numbering, delivering witness affidavits timelessly to implicated persons. And what of the vaunted investigative directorate in the NPA? They are keeping a watch brief, a watching brief on the Commission's proceedings with what end in sight? When do we start feeling the sting of the so-called Scorpions 2.0? Do they have a sting at all? Welcome to our Corruption Scorecard, Story Focus, State Capture.